You know, you spoke about the fact that, that uh, there are lots of things that happen behind the scene. But part of the ones, too, that seems to be out there is that the executive is the one that's causing this in the first instance. Because, number one, if you make, or if they uh, say they made a mistake by sending the name of the EFCC chair for confirmation in the first place, they should have just admitted, come up and say, and then go about it politically and sort it out as opposed to digging in. And secondly, they also say it's all the more confusing because if the head of the Natu Na uh, National Lottery Commission was sent to the Senate for confirmation, why not this? Well, if the head of the Natural, uh, I mean, the National Lottery Commission was sent to the Senate for confirmation, it presupposes that that's what the Constitution says. What they are oh. saying, that what they are saying is that, yes, ordinarily, the head of the EFCC should be sent to the, the Senate. But we have just found out that we shouldn't have sent it in the first instance. And that's why I'm saying, if they, they have just discovered, like quite a number of lawyers hold that opinion, the only organization, I mean, the only arm of government that can settle this matter is the judiciary. They will approach the judiciary, say, did we make a mistake by sending his name in the first instance? And the judiciary will say yes or no. Or you, sh you should send, or the confirmation is required. And then it will also give uh, ancillary uh, decisions with regard to, can he continue in an acting capacity ad infinitum? Those are decisions that can be taken by the... And so this trouble, will, will, that, that would have saved us of all of this trouble. But because, so long as uh, that is not done... Uh -huh. We will continue to see this supremacy battle because what is what we are seeing now is a supremacy battle. Uh, yeah. In, in addition to that, um, you said it's a supremacy b battle. If we have to try to dot dot the lines and see where this is taking us to, will it be appropriate to suppose that when we had the situation where the army chief says, "Do not fraternize. No military man should fraternize with the politicians," and then we are having magus resurgence of the, of the case again on the one hand and you're having a president that is ill and we're having 2019 just by the corner do you make sense of this trend of thoughts well i am yet to connect the dots you know w between the the army not fraternizing with politicians yes that is ordinarily what it is supposed to be but again if it, they are fraternizing with politicians it is still at the level of speculation because, you see, when the chief of army staff made that remark, we, we were expecting some arrests. Nobody was arrested. So it was like he was just blowing whistle. So if you say some politicians are fraternizing with some soldiers, arrest the soldiers, arrest the politicians, so that we can know who they are. But it's not at the level of... That, that speculation should even be a newspaper or social media matter. It shouldn't come from the chief of army staff. And thereafter, no arrests were made. You know, so when we are now talking about two, two, 2019 and then a magu, I do not see how a magu can stop, you know, a 2019 ambition of somebody, except he probably the person is under detention. Because, you know, at the, those days when um, uh, Ribadu was there, he tried to see if he could disqualify some people because <laughs> of the fact that he was investigating the Mandola. And the court said no, unless and until we say so and all of that. So it, it, it still does, uh, it still what, what does not Magu, allow me to the between 2019 and, uh, and the Magu. What if Magu has the power to stop some of these very powerful people in government as we, ha uh, we are heading to 2019? Except he's investigating them and they, are in, uh, and they are in court. And even if they are in court, they probably will still contest election, except their party now says anybody who has a court matter pending will not be, be our candidate. That's the only way he can stop them. But ordinarily, he doesn't have the power to stop anybody from aspiring uh, right. to any position. Well, Anka, at that point, Mr. George A.K., a legal practitioner, thank you for coming on this morning. Thank, thank you so much.